Hey everyone, welcome back to the JRM Video Production YouTube channel. We're here to show you a little bit of how we get our scoreboard data back to the truck. Let's take a look. So I want to start out with the Dactronics All Sports CG device. Now, the reason I specified this is because here in Western Pennsylvania, just about every high school is using Dactronics. So we went on with them and used Dactronics as well. This device right here is the device that allows us to get our CG back to the truck. So we normally plug this cord into the Venues All Sport 5000 controller. And what happens here is that all that data gets translated into plain text from the All Sport CG device. Now what you normally would do is you'd plug this directly into the computer, but since this entire switch box is held up at the press box, we can't run a cord directly to our computer. So what we do is we use a Linux server, also known as a Raspberry Pi, to translate all that USB data over IP. Now, a simpler way to do this uh, would be downloading an IP, uh, USB over IP software for Windows, especially now these days, since Raspberry Pis are really hard to come by. You can get a very cheap or even free USB over IP software for a PC, slap a laptop up here on the top of your switch, plug it into your switch, and then you get your data sent back to your computer. But for our demonstration, let's head back into the trailer and show you how we get the data back from the Linux server. All right, everybody. Now on the inside of the trailer, one of the key things that we have to do with our setup is a little IT. So what we have to do is we have to look for the IP address that the venue assigns our Raspberry Pi. Right here, it's currently assigned to 10.1.10.192. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to open up a program on my desktop here called Connect to Raspberry Pi. I'm going to right click and I'll paste it in. I'm going to press enter. And now we're connected to the Raspberry Pi. And like I said earlier on the video, all this data is coming in over a virtual COM port. Um, so hopefully in the description down below, I'll have some uh, references to Windows servers that you'll be able to use, uh, including if you're on a budget or can't find a Raspberry Pi for a Linux server. But once you have your data coming in, here's the real fun part, okay? We were looking for a really long time on what software we can actually use, and we ended up using LiveScore. We were able to do everything that we needed to do, which was bring the Dactronics data into the Scorebug software. So whenever you get LiveScore, the way you use the Dactronics software is by going up to Input, clicking on Dactronics, then click Enable, and then click on Dactronic Setup. From here is where you make sure that everything is set up for what you want to do in Dactronics. Now, if I go ahead and press Start Test, you can see all that data that we just saw on the Linux server is actually showing up in here. This is what you need. You want to make sure that all your data is coming over that COM port, um, but once you get it connected, uh, LiveScore will be able to see that Dactronics data, and we'll go ahead and press uh, Stop Testing here. We'll press Save, and then all we have to do is press start and reset, and it reset on its own. Perfect, I was hoping it would. Currently we have zero, zero on the time and we'll get that switched out here from our um, Dactronics device. And you can actually see that the upper St. Clair score is going up. And this is being controlled in venue from the All Sports 5000 series. It's coming straight to us while their scoreboard is being updated. So now we have to get our live score character generation file into OBS. And we already talked about NDI in one of our previous videos, but we use NDI here as well, where it's built into live score. Now the very fun thing about NDI, and I don't think we touched about it in the last uh, video, but you don't have to do this all on the same computer. NDI works over your network. So you could have someone on their very own computer running this whole live score setup and turn on the NDI output because what's going to happen is live score is going to send the graphics over the network and 
into OBS. So we'll go ahead and leave that checked and press save. And then we're gonna come over to OBS and I'm just gonna show you our little setup right here. So you can see that we're set up to uh, the live score application. And then these are quite literally the default settings. So we'll press okay. And now, since we have NDI coming in, all I have to do is press my button on my Elgato. And now we have the scoreboard. It's really, really cool that we don't have to manually do the scores, um, the time, and the first and downs, and all that good stuff. It's going to be done automatically thanks to the help of LiveScore. And they actually wrote an article about us not too long ago, and we'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can learn more about LiveScore and what they have to offer. So. That's basically how we do the scoreboard, and I appreciate all your guys' time today, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.